Now, Domino's a huge presence here at the show, as always. Star of the show last year for them was the DA42NG. This is their solution to being dropped in the proverbial by the insolvency of their engine supplier, t -Lert. This is the NG, it's the Ostro AE300 engine which Diamond themselves have built. Makes them unique, I think, amongst the big manufacturers that build the airframe and the power plant. So the last year, people have been saying to Diamond, when are you going to get this NG into the DA40? Well, they have done. The single DA40 NG is now certified as of today. Now, the quiz question is, how do you spot a DA40 NG? Well, it's this, the deeper, lower spoiler under the chin, because the engine itself, the AE300, is bigger and heavier than the one before. But it's more powerful too, 170 horsepower. That gives you a bigger all-up weight of 1,280 kilos. Anyway, let's find out more about it from uh, Christian Dries, the guy that owns Diamond. So, Christian, the engine is a little bit heavier. What modifications have you had to make to the DA40 NG? The biggest project first was the development of the engine which has now 170 horsepower, fueled by Jet A1. And because this engine, which we developed, was a little bit heavier than the previous one, we had to redesign the airplane, and we had also to do all the testing again, because we also increased the takeoff weight from 1150 to 1280 kilograms. So all this together was a very big project. But the reason why we did it was to make sure that all our customers who already have a DA40 or a DA42 are able to retrofit the engine. So what are the improvements? It's a 170 horsepower engine. Basically a very good short field performance, extremely good climb rate, and you can uh, fly with 100% uh, power in climb up to uh, 15,000 feet. And the cruising speed of the aircraft, it depends on your power setting, is up to 168 knots. What's the price tag on the 40 NG? Something around 270,000 euros. It's about the same price that it was with uh, TLED. And now this project is done, what's next? Yes, the D-Jet is a standalone project which is mainly done in Canada. Our additional program is now in uh, the DA50, which will come on the market next year with 170 horsepower. This will be a very nice air-conditioned training aircraft as well as a traveling airplane mainly for the European market but also a little bit later as soon as our new engine projects are ready the airplane will go from 270 horsepower and a third version uh, also maybe with 380 horsepower but all on the diesel range. Where do you see Diamond in five or ten years time? Yeah that is a good question. We want to stabilize and expand at the same time. So at the moment we have invested heavily in all kinds of new projects. We want to finish these ones, but we are already working on the so-called future small aircraft, which is an aircraft, of course, with diesel engines, a completely new production method, a new avionics system, and uh, of course, long range, easy to maintain. So this program might come on the market 2014-2015. Uh, Is there a, a, a comparison to this projected aircraft that already exists? Is it some, similar to the DA-20, for example? No. Imagine the D-Jet with two diesel engines. Then we are getting close to it. On that top secret note, Christian, thank you very much for thank joining us. Thank you very much.